Hey everybody, let's talk Inspector Gadget, because when it comes to explaining, I'm always on duty. <laughs> As you may I'm be aware- better than you are, so I should oh, be Oh no, no, I refuse to let this bit happen. You can shut up now. Alright, alright, go grab my iPad, come back, and we'll finish the review together. I'm always on duty. Alright, let's wrap this up quick before he gets back. As you may be aware, Inspector Gadget is a media franchise that's been around since 1983 and has gone through many iterations, but how it ties into Siva Gunner has very little to do with the actual Inspector Gadget. Rather, it's based on an April Fool sketch, Minecraft with Gadget, by Mike Matei, co-writer and producer for Angry Video Game Nerd. It's known for being, well, incredibly bad. The jokes, if you can even call them that, manage to consistently fall completely flat. It just ends up being primarily an impression of Inspector Gadget incorrectly pronouncing things and repeating phrases. I link you to it or show you part of the video, but reuploads keep getting copyright claimed off YouTube, so I'd like to stay in the clear. You can probably find it by searching Minecraft with Gadget on YouTube, but I can't make any guarantee that it will still be up anywhere. Similar to many running jokes on the channel, Minecraft with Gadget as a meme predates Siva Gunner entirely. I'd rather not get too into the details behind the video as it's out of scope in terms of Siva Gunner explained, but if you'd like to to know more, check out this amazing post by Can't Fly from 2012. It's in depth, it's hilarious, and it's definitely worth a read. A link is in the description. So let's start with its relation to Siva Gunner. For that, we'll have to go back to June 2016 for Minecraft OST version from, well, Minecraft. It's of no relevance to any form of storyline, but it shows the team was at least aware of the video almost a year before it really took off. The Minecraft with Gadget joke really started picking up in May of 2017, being thrown around on Twitter a lot until it hit critical mass. This culminated on May 14th with the release of audio log 927, Head Office. What happens in the log is this. The voice, who is currently running the channel, calls for President Haltman to come to his office. Instead, Inspector Gadget shows up and causes a lot of mayhem. It's sort of unclear what happens exactly, but if we check the tweet from right after the video was uploaded, it says, oh look, a free iPad. Minecraft with Gadget ends with with Inspector Gadget killing Mike Matei and saying this quote. This is a pretty blatant hint that, well, Inspector Gadget has killed or at least attempted to kill the voice inside your head. Inspector Gadget then takes control of the channel and sends it into an event that lasts about a week and a half, where every rep uploaded has something to do with Inspector Gadget, typically including quotes directly from Minecraft with Gadget or incorporating the Inspector Gadget theme song into the melody. There's not much in terms of storyline in the reps uploaded during the event, so in the interest of finishing up before he gets back, let's skip straight to the end. The event wrapped up, as usual, with an album announcement for Inspector Gunner. Check out my video on how albums work for more info on that. In the announcement, we find out that Inspector Gadget was a robot created by Haltman sent to take down the voice. But Gadget himself is taken down by, well, a DMCA claim, just like Minecraft with Gadget. And with Gadget no longer around, Haltman takes over control of the channel. It's important to note that he's taken over control in order to sell it and earn maximum profit, and not for the benefit of the channel or the passion of ripping high-quality video game music. But without more information, I think we'll need to continue talking about this in the Christmas Comeback Crisis Explained episode. So for now, thank you for watching and have you a good day. You can shut up now. Shit. My deduction skills as a detective tell me he's a nerd, and I hate nerds. What an asshole. He has quite possibly never used creative energy, if you ask me. He is just copying. Seems more like monkey see, monkey do than creative energy. What is the point of that? Oh look, a free iPad.